What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another episode of the new PS4 Jailbreak tutorial series. Got something a little bit different here in this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the developer menu for Dying Light. There's a new kind of version of the developer menu that's been ported or updated by DevShoots, uh, which works on like the latest version of Dying Light that you can get running on a jailbroken PS4 on 9.00. And originally the developer menus were ported over by Death RGH, but those only work on like the base version of the game, whereas this new one works on the latest version of the game. And Death RGH also was the one who ported over the developer menus for the Dead Island series as well. So Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide, the definitive editions. So yeah, why am I covering this? Well, Dying Light has been my favorite game since 2015 when it launched. Um, it's not really had that much attention until recently. But of course, we also have Dying Light 2 coming out very, very soon. So I just thought it was kind of fitting given that Dying Light 2 is coming out very soon and we have this developer menu update for the original game. So let's go ahead and look at how to install it because this also applies to other games that have, you know, mods and developer menus uh, that are installed in a similar way to this one. Okay, so let's get into how to install this. So the developer menu comes as a package file. It's actually the update package file, the 1.31 update but it's also got the developer menu bundled into that update. Now, it's for a specific version of the game, as you can see if we open this up. It's for version, obviously it's the it's the enhanced edition, and it's for version 03991. So you have to have that version of the game in order for the developer menu to work. Not sure why the, the developer hasn't just, you know, put the raw files out there so you can apply them to, like, other versions of the game uh, instead of having to have this specific version, but... It is what it is right now. So yeah, you need to make sure you have this particular version of the game. So CUSA 03991, uh, which obviously is available somewhere. And there's also this DLC pack for it as well, which has a bunch of DLC, which is mainly just like items because the developer menu allows you to spawn in items into the game. And if you don't have the DLC that's required for some of those items, then it won't let you spawn those in. So you have a bunch of DLC packs here. Um, that you can install that will then allow you to spawn in those items. Okay, so all we have to do really is put this on a USB drive. Again, making sure the USB drive is formatted in XFAT format. If we go in there, we're going to go ahead and copy the developer menu in. And there we go. So we got that on the root of the USB drive. And then we also need the game as well, of course. So as you can see, I've got the, the correct version of the game here. So this is the the game fake package version and it's for 03991 so it's the correct version to work with this update so we'll just go ahead and copy that also into the root of the usb drive so obviously if you have a retail copy of the game or you have a fake package copy but it's for a different version a different title id then you'll just have to download a copy of the game that is for the correct version um, or obviously if you have the correct version as a retail copy you could also dump it and turn it into a fake package version uh, that'll work with this update but uh, I've done a tutorial on that already it's part of the playlist link down in the video description uh, on how to dump and turn your games into fake package files but uh, anyway once we've got the game and the update on there I guess we'll also put all the DLC on here as well if you have this I probably won't actually be able to link all of this DLC packages in the video description um, just because I think these might be paid DLC I'm not sure if it's paid or free DLC some of it might be paid DLC, so I might not be able to include the link to all of these DLC packages. So my apologies if it's not there in the description. But uh, yeah, anyway, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and eject the drive and plug it into our PS4. Okay, and once we're on the PS4, we're just going to go onto our internet browser, load up your exploit host, whichever one you're using, like caro218.ir or lethal's host or chameleon's host or whoever else's host PRBs that you want to use and run the gold hen payload so gold hen v2 b2 or whatever the latest version of gold hen is run that payload jailbreak your ps4 and you'll be up and running once you've done that you can then go to your settings you can go down to the debug settings game package installer and there's all the packages on the usb drive showing up so all we're going to do is install the game first of all okay so that's the game downloaded as you can see right here we're on version 1.00 so what you want to do is run the game and create a save file for it first. Don't worry about the incompatible version. That's just because um, I'm currently on version 1.00 and I made the save on a higher update. 
But yeah, if make a new save game because when you try and do a new save when you have that dev menu installed on 1.31, it will actually not like allow you to start the game. It just the menu kind of glitches out and it doesn't allow you to start it. So I would say make sure that you've at least got a save where you're mainly finished the main prologue of the game and you're past the prologue. And at that point, you can then, you know, maybe update the game to the dev menu and you should be okay to use it. So anyway, once you've done that, you can then apply the update. So we'll go into uh, debug settings, game package installer again, and we'll install the 1.31 update, which includes the developer menu. Okay, so here's the issue that we're getting right here. So an error has occurred. So CE36434-0. Um, yeah, so of course, this is a typical issue you'll get when you download like the game from one place and the package file from another place. I covered this in my video about like installing games, DLC and updates. So what we need to do is, of course, remarry the package file to the game version that we're using. So to do that, if we switch back over to the computer real quick, what we're going to do is use the T42 repackager script. So if I go to the location where my game is, and extract the t42 repackager uh, right on here into the root of that folder and then just run the t42 repackager again all of these things will be linked in the video description so we'll run this and then that will create the folders and what we want to do is go into the bin folder copy gen gp4 into the bin folder and also copy the ext folder and the orbis pub cmd folder from the fake package tools also into that location once you've done that we're then going to copy the game package file into the game folder and then copy the game update package file into the patch folder of course that's on another drive so it's going to have to copy it over okay and once you've done that all you need to do is run the t42 repackager cmd again and this time it will start the process and what the script does, if you don't know, is it's basically just extracting the update and then uh, rebuilding the update package again using our base game package file uh, to build it with. And then that way it will actually work with our version of the game and install without getting that error message. So that's all we're doing. It can take a while, though, to complete this process. So just give it some time. OK, so once it's done, you can press any key to continue and the outputted package file will be in the repack folder so if you go into the repack folder you'll find a package file that'll have dash repack at the end so that is the package file that has been rebuilt to work with your version of the game is copy that package file to the root of your usb drive so we'll get rid of the original one and we'll paste this new one in here and then we'll just go ahead and unplug the usb drive and plug it back into the ps4 okay so going back to the package installer we can see that we should now have the repack file right here. So we'll install it. It'll say content already exists, overwrite. All right, there you go, installed successfully. So no issues that time. And as you can see, it has successfully installed 1.31. If you hit options and go to update history, you can see the top option says added the extra developer and cheat menu, as well as the usual kind of stuff for the update. So. I'm just going to go ahead and install some of this extra DLC as well. So I'll just install all of these. Okay, so that's all the DLC installed as well. So if we go here, we can check by going to information, view, add-ons. You can see all the different add-ons that have been added right there. So all we have to do now is run the game. And then we'll just go and load up our save file. So this is a platinum save, I believe, that I just installed with the save mounter okay so we loaded up into the game here and as you can see i've got like no weapons right now so what we can do is we can hit the start menu or the pause menu and go to the extras menu and this is where you have all of the kind of developer menu options so there's the player menu where you can enable things like you know god mode and unlimited ammo and all that kind of stuff so god mode cheat mode unlimited ammo uh, i don't believe those really work properly it seems uh, but all skills works, you know, restore health works, drop health, give ammo, uh, give, you know, money and all that stuff and add all crafts. That all works. And then you've also got items menu as well, where you can spawn in like lots of different items. So basically every item in the game, I believe, is listed in here. 
we've got extras. There's some more options. There's the events menu. I'm not entirely sure what this all does. But yeah, I think this is mainly just to like test stuff where you can like spawn in certain scenarios and, uh, you know, certain situations for testing. I believe that's what most of this stuff is. Then you've also got the invokes menu, which is kind of like allows you to teleport to a particular mission to like a particular point in the game's story and stuff. So if I hit that option, yeah, it basically just takes me to a particular point in the campaign. So yeah, we're basically at the point where we exit the slums to the going to Old Town for the first time. So that works. Let's see what else we've got. There's the skills menu. So yeah, this allows you to do things like level up, level up to like max level, instant all skills, add XP uh, and all that kind of stuff. For some reason, it gets stuck when you like highlight over this option for some reason. Uh, there's a bunch of other things you can add like legend skills and stuff like that as well. I think that's pretty much it for the most part. But yeah, it's a pretty substantial cheat menu. Obviously, you could like mess around with this for for a long time and, you know, find all the different options and what they all do. Because again, it's not just mods, you know, it's not just like a... I need to get this gnome off the screen. Um, yeah, it's not just mods, obviously. It's not just cheats. It's not just a cheat menu. It is literally a developer menu. So... You have options to all kinds of like debug options and testing options as well as the cheats. So yeah, since Dying Light 2 is coming out very soon, I thought it was kind of fitting to cover this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.